Happy Wednesday, Year 6. So today's lesson, we're carrying on with converting units, is um, our world is to calculate with metric measures. So this will require some adding, multiplying, subtracting, etc. Right, sex so question. So in the circles, write a multiple that belongs to each set. One has been done for you. Down here, don't fall into the trap of going 230, 260, because you might find that they're not actually multiples of 30. So give you a few minutes to do that. Press the pause button and come back to me when you're done. OK. OK, so looking at multiples of um, 20, we know that 100 is a multiple of 20. So we should know that 120 is a multiple. 140, 160, and 180, all falling within the bracket of 101 to 199. Down here, the easiest way to think about this one is to work backwards. We know that 300 is a multiple of 30, so we could work backwards and think, okay, if 300 is a multiple, we can take 300 from that and think 270. Take 30 from that is 240. Take 30 from that. This 210. You'll also notice that you can see that all these 21, 24, and 27 are all in the three times table. So that helps us as well. And let's do this a similar way. So a multiple of 40 falling within the bracket 301 to 399 is 400. So take away 40 from 400 would be 260. So 360. And take away 40 from that would be. 320. And again, we can see that 32 and 36 are both in the four times table. Right, okay, so if I have a jug, so we're back onto our measures now. If I have a jug with 1.5 litres of juice in it, how many millilitres is this? Remember that there is 1,000 millilitres in one litre. So you have a work out of that one. Pause me, write it down in your book in a proper sentence and come back to me. So you should have found that that would be 1,500 millilitres. Do not forget your unit of measurement. OK, next question. True or false, 2,000 metres equals 2 kilometres. So we know that there are 1,000 metres in 1 kilometre. So that must mean if there's 2,000 metres, that will be 2 kilometres. So that is true. OK, this one. We know that there are 10 millimetres in 1 centimetre. So if we're converting millimetres to centimetres, we need to divide by 10. Have they divided by 10? Oh, I don't think they have. What would the right answer be? The right answer would be 100 centimetres. OK. So to calculate using metric measures, a teacup holds 200 millilitres of water. How many teacups can be filled from a two litre bottle of water? Explain how you would find an answer to this problem. So pause and come back to me. So we know that in two litres, that is an equivalent, so we need to get our units of measurement the same, don't we? Two litres is equivalent to 2,000 millilitres. OK, so then we need to find out how many teacups can fill 2,000 millilitres. So we need to do 2,000 divided by, what do we divide it by? Dividing it by 200. Equals, so if we want to find an easier way, we can do 20 divided by 2. So take these two zeros away, divide it by 100 to get that. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So the same for 2,000 divided by 200. So we can get 10 teacups into a 2 litre bottle of water. OK, I'm going to pause that here now and we'll go on to part 2. So look out for the next slide.